To insert the missing columns, we first create the new cross section. We could do this by using the new member command, as shown in the last video, but this time we use the navigator. We right click cross sections in the navigator and click new cross section. In the new window, we select a rectangular cross section with dimensions 50 to 50 and the same material. Now we see the newly created cross section in the navigator. Next, we click new member. Leave everything as default and select the newly created cross section from the list. We insert the two remaining columns exactly as in the last video. And mirror them to the other side. Now we want to insert downstand beams that span the entire middle slab. For this, we create new lines between the columns. We click the first column head, then the second column head, and then right click to create a new line. We repeat the process for the two remaining columns. We cannot add any downstand beams yet because the lines run over different plates, we create new nodes by clicking join members and select our lines. Now you can see the newly created nodes in the slab. We create a new member, but this time we select the member type rib. As usual, we create a rectangular cross section 25 to 50. And edit the rib before inserting. We want the downstand beam below the plate and therefore we click on the positive Z axis. The effective width is currently irrelevant, so select L, 8, for example. We insert the downstand beams by simply clicking the lines. The next step is to copy the entire story upwards once. To do this, we simply select the entire model and click the copy and move icon. In the new window, we set the number of copies to 1 because we only want to copy it once and the distance in the Z direction to minus 3, since the positive direction of the Z axis is downwards. In the new floor, there is no opening, so we delete it by selecting it in the navigator. Right click on it and then delete it in the shortcut menu. Next, we enter the two trusses. These are made of steel S235, but we have not created any steel cross sections yet. We click on new member. And select HEB 200 in the rolled eye sections in the library.
The member type for the top chord and the bottom chord is a beam member because it is to transfer all internal forces. We click the two nodes between which the upper flange should span. And then we divide it into six equal parts by right-clicking it. And in the shortcut menu, select split member into n intermediate nodes. In the new window, we set the number of nodes to 5 and click OK. Next, we insert the diagonals and the verticals. However, we have to define them as truss members. In principle, these are beam members with hinges arranged on the member ends that transfer no moments. We create a new cross section with a rolled HEB100 cross section. We first insert the verticals with a height of 1 meter. With the same principle as for the reinforced concrete columns. We can then easily insert the diagonals graphically using the nodes. But first, we have to deselect the length and direction to enable the free graphical input. Finally, we copy the four inner panels of the upper cord downwards. For this, we do not necessarily have to use the copy and move command, but can simply select the objects by holding down the control key. And drag it to the desired position while holding down the control key. The first truss girder is thus entered. 